Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 19th of November 2020 and the time has just gone 12.01 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the US dollar, Canadian dollar, the dollar cat as it often gets referred to. Uh, this here is a, 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 a daily chart of the currency pair and as we can see since late March it's been in a solid downward trend the last few months. Uh, in fact, uh, the lows that we fell to earlier this month uh, were, were levels, uh, were basically the lowest levels uh, seen in about two years. So we have recouped a small bit from there. Um, so we're off the off the kind of multi-year lows that were set recently. But the point of this video is to, is to discuss: Are we going to see a continuation of the recent downward trend, uh, or are we going to rebound from here? Now, if you take a look at the price action, uh, we can see here um, the, the market rebounded um, into into last week but notice how the market seemed to, the rebound seemed to kind of run out of steam and yet we became drifting a bit lower again which would indicate that it hasn't really kind of shaken off the, the bearish trend it could suggest that the upward move that we saw uh, at the beginning of November was just merely a, uh, a rebound um, from the, uh, from, from the aggressive negative move that we saw that began in late October. So we could be looking at heading further, heading south again. Now, now we're currently at one spot 30, um, 09. If you move lower from here, you know, we could see, we could uh, take up the kind of one spot th 30 area, you know, it's a big, big number and all that. And if you go below that, we could then be looking heading back down towards uh, the recent lows in at one spot 29, 28. And if we were to go below that, we then be looking at going back to the levels of last seen a couple of years ago. So if we take out one spot 2928, the recent low, we could be heading back down toward this area here, the lows of late September 2018. Uh, they come into play um, in around one spot 2782. Uh, and if we go below that, we could be heading back down towards the lows of uh, mid-April 2018 and they came into play in around one spot 2527. Now um, if we do manage to kind of move on higher from here on dollar CAD, where could we look to go? We could, well, we could look to head back up towards this blue line here, the fifth of the moving average in at once just north of one spot 3201. We can notice on a few occasions the metric actually kind of as both the support and resistance. It acted as support uh, in early October, um, very briefly, and then granted in mid-October it traded above it, so I couldn't, couldn't say quite say active resistance, but on a few occasions there have been some fairly important kind of consolidation uh, area zones uh, around the 50 moving average, so keep an eye out on that metric um, to the upside. If we go beyond that, we could then be looking at retesting the highs of late October, just just shy of one spot 34, and you can see on a few occasions that this area here, just north of 134, in around one spot 34, 18, there thereabouts, on a few occasions that metric, uh, the area acted resistance quite well. So a uh, um, break beyond that would be fairly significant. And if you go beyond that level, we could then be looking heading back up to the the um, the, 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 the levels that we're seeing back in, in uh, late July in around the kind of one spot 36 zone. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to, to discuss dollar CAD today was not just because it's in a fairly clear and clear downward trend because I do like to, to look at trending markets. I also think it's a good, the, the currency pair is a good proxy for risk because recently the US dollar has become a very popular risk off strategy. So whenever whenever traders are worried about the health of the global economy, no pun intended given the pandemic, um, the, ten, the, the US dollar has attracted safe haven flows. So typically there's been concerns about um, COVID-19 rates or the lockdowns. The dollar has tended before outperformed whenever say stocks and metals uh, and, and, and oils have fallen. Conversely, whenever there's been positive news about um, positive news in general, but more recently about, say, the health crisis, any of the potential vaccines from the big drug companies, that's tend to have, have triggered a sell-off in the US dollar and conversely a move upward in well, both stocks, but also in commodities. And to be precise, oil. The Canadian economy um, is, a, is a very large, relatively large oil producer, so any moves in the oil market tends to have a big impact on what's going on with the dollar CAD, with the Canadian dollar. 
So if you take a look here briefly at the Brent crude oil uh, cash contract, we can see that it's been an aggressive upward trend uh, of move since the beginning of the month. That's about coinciding with the initial news from Pfizer and BioNTech that their their potential vaccine for COVID-19 is quite, quite successful. So it's not coincidence that the, at the in the last few weeks, just few weeks, the oil market has been driving higher and coincident. And at the same time, we've also seen quite a negative move uh, in the actual in the actual dollar CAD itself. So the upward move in oil kind of coincides with the downward move in dollar CAD. So it depends how this situation goes. If we have the renewed health fears, we could, we could see a rebound in dollar versus the Canadian dollar. But if we do see uh, in, uh, in further improvements on the vaccine story, that's likely to spur on the, um, the oil market, given that a, a stronger global economy would probably equate to a higher demand for oil. At the same time, on the other side of the trade, if traders are quite bullish, they'll probably drop, they're like more likely to, to drop the US dollar. Uh, if you are going to be trading dollar CAD or any of the kind of major uh, currency pairs today, keep in mind that at 1330 GMT, um, the US jobless claims will be posted, and that's likely to add some volatility to the FX markets. That's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, and good luck.